All right, so what is a horizontal asymptote? So what a horizontal asymptote is, let's take a look at a graph, all right? And let's say we have this crazy little graph that, um, hmm, let's see, let's do one, let's look at this graph, okay? So we'll talk about, you know, your parent graphs over there. Let's say we have a graph right there. Actually, no. Let's move this. Let's change it up a little bit for you, right? Why, why you always got to do the same things? Let's do a graph that's going to look like this. All right? And what it looks like is this graph looks like it's approaching this little dotted line we have here. Well, that little dotted line, what we're going to call is a horizontal asymptote. Now, I know my graph doesn't look really that great. Maybe I should kind of go with something like this. But what you notice, all right, is the definition for a horizontal asymptote is first of all, we have our axes. For a function, we have f of x and x. f, f of x is very sim just the same thing as our y, but we're talking about functions, so we're going to use f of x. You also need to notice that there's infinity, here's negative infinity, negative infinity, and infinity. So what a horizontal asymptote says is, as f of x approaches b, now what is b? b is going to be the y value of, or the f of x value of your function. So we could say this point is at 0b, right? So this line, we could say, has the equation y equals b, or actually, actually f of x equals b, right? So that's the equation of this line, f of x equals b. So as f of x approaches b, if you have x approach negative infinity, or x approach positive infinity, you now have created a horizontal asymptote. So let's look at that. So as my f of x approaches b, now this can be from either direction. Let's say it approaches it from the um, positive direction, so from the top. As I approach it from the top and I get closer and closer to b, my graph, rather than approaching b, now takes a turn and starts approaching negative infinity. Then my graph from the below, as I keep on getting closer and closer to b, it turns and starts approaching positive infinity. So as my function approaches b, if it, they both go to infinity, both go to negative infinity, or approach positive and negative infinity, but once they start approaching a line, or rather than approaching the line, they start approaching towards infinity, well, they still approach that line, but they head towards infinity or negative infinity, we created a, ver a horizontal asymptote. So an asymptote is, it's not impossible for it to cross. There are some functions where it crosses a horizontal asymptote. But what's important about it is after maybe it crosses, you can see its end behavior is it approaches our horizontal asymptote to infinity or to negative infinity, or as our x is to negative infinity or positive infinity. So that is a definition of a horizontal asymptote. I hope they kind of helped you out. We'll go through examples how to find them and what exactly they really mean in a little bit. So there you go. Hope you liked it. If you have any questions, make sure you comment or ask questions below. Thanks.